All right, boys and girls, welcome to your very first flipped lesson. Let's get started. Okay, so take a second and read this meme. So I have been a student just like you all are, and at some point I think we have all been this kid. However, I do not want you to be him today, and I definitely don't want you to be him in the future. So if you could, please take notes as you watch today's lesson. If you need to pause, go ahead and do that now. Get your ELA notebooks, title it uh, inferences, and label it today's date. All right, let's get started. So today we are going to talk about inference, all right? Because we're going to read a short story by Alice Walker. And in that story, um, we are really going to focus on making inferences. So what is an inference? An inference is a conclusion reached on the basis of evidence and reasoning. And as you can see, the word evidence is italicized and so is reasoning. Because in order to make an inference, you have to use evidence and reasoning. That's what makes it um, an inference. So if this definition is confusing to you, an inference, in other words, is basically an educated guess, all right? Why is it an educated guess? Because you have to use evidence and reasoning to draw some type of conclusion. So when we read, there are going to be times when the author will tell us something directly. For example, Sarah was sad. With this small sentence, we don't have to wonder if Sarah was sad. We don't have to wonder if she was happy. We don't have to wonder if she was mad because the author directly told us that she was sad. All right. However, there will be times when the author does not tell you something directly. Rather, he or she will give you evidence and details and you have to figure out what the author means on your own. All right, so let's take another example. Sarah was sitting by herself in the corner. She was not smiling like all the other kids. Instead, her head was down, her eyes were puffy, they were read as if she had been crying. Based on all of this information right here, we can make an inference that Sarah was sad. So in this example, the author told us directly that Sarah was sad. However, in this example, we as the readers have to determine that she was sad on our own. The author does not tell us that she was sad. How do we know that she was sad? Well, she was sitting in the corner by herself. She was not smiling like all the other kids. Her head was down. Her eyes were red and puffy as if she had been crying. So based on all of this evidence, we can draw the conclusion that she was sad. That is called making an inference. All right, so let's kind of try this out with pictures. So I have really grown to like 21 Savage. Like his rap game has improved dramatically since that 21 M's or whatever in his bank account. All right. So I decided to use him for this example. As I look at this picture, I notice that 21 Savage is smiling. Um, I see his gold teeth, which is like shining, by the way. Um, his face looks soft, and what I mean by that is like there's no wrinkles. He's not his face isn't scrunched up. You know he doesn't look tense. He looks happy, and because of this, I can make the inference that he's in a good mood, that he's happy, that things are going well for him, based on his facial expressions, um, based on the softness of his face, based on all of that information. I can make the inference that he's happy. Now. Let's look at this picture. Big difference, right? In this picture, I see that his face is scrunched up. There's something going on weird with his lips. 
right here his face is scrunched up he just looks tense like even his shoulders are like a little bit more stiff whereas they look i mean you can't tell but i can see from the shadow over here that he looks more relaxed so based on this picture i can make an inference that he's bothered something is he's irritated he's mad he's frustrated he's not in a good mood all right i made an inference so that's basically what we're going to do when we read stories. We're going to use the evidence that the author gives us to draw some type of conclusion. All right. So all of you have um, your packets by Alice Walker. Go ahead and get those out. We are going to be reading a short story called The Flowers. All right. So I am going to read the first paragraph. Um, this packet is, uh, each paragraph is labeled over here. So here you have one, um, here you have paragraph two. So if I ever say go to paragraph three, just look at the numbers on the left-hand side. All right, so here we go. It seemed to Maya, as she skipped lightly from hen house to pig pen to smoke house, that the days had never been as beautiful as these. The air held a keenness that made her nose twitch. The harvesting of the corn and cotton, peanuts and squash made each day a golden surprise that caused excited little tumors to run up her jaws. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and annotate this paragraph um, really quick. So I'm gonna highlight the words skipped lightly. And I'm going to highlight the word beautiful. Then I'm going to highlight the word golden surprise. And the word excited. So based on all of these words, skip lightly, beautiful, golden surprise, and excited, I, as the reader, can make the inference that my op is probably happy um, that she's enjoying being outside in nature, that, she, you know, the mood is really light. The mood is really pleasant at this point in the story. So I'm going to annotate over here in the right side, the margins. When you annotate in this class, um, I always want you guys to annotate in the margins. So I'm going to go ahead and add my note. My op is happy, the mood is pleasant. Okay, so this is just my little annotation over here in the right hand corner. What I want you guys to do is to continue to read this story and do exactly what I did. I want you all to look for words or look for phrases um, in hopes to make an inference. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the second paragraph as well. My op carried a short, knobby stick. She struck, out a random, she struck out random at chickens she liked and worked out the beat of a song on the fence around the pig pen. She felt light and, in a, and good in the warm sun. She was 10 and nothing existed for her but her song, the stick clutched in her dark brown bag, and the ta da di ta 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 of accompaniment. So, this paragraph confirms the inference that I made in the first one. It says right here that she felt light and good in the warm sun. So, once again, this confirms the inference that I made in this paragraph. So in paragraph two, I really didn't need to make an inference because the author kind of directly told me what I suspected in the first paragraph. So if you find yourself reading along and there's really no inference to be made, that's okay. But I still do want you guys to annotate each paragraph, like make some type of note, okay? And as you do that, I will be walking around the room and kind of assisting you.
Good luck.